So I was doing some work in the garden today and I noticed that I had a couple of leaves die kind of out of nowhere. Um, and that's usually a sign that they've been attacked by a vine borer. So I'm gonna cut a couple of these open and see if I can find one and show you. But what vine borers do is, um, well, the moth will lay an egg on the vine and then, oh yeah, when the egg hatches, the little uh, wormy guy, it's not a worm, but I forget what it's called, um, will start to eat the inside of the um, stem because these are hollow. No boar that I can see in that one which means he might be in the stem of the squash, which is when it becomes a big issue. Oh, and then I have a, what are these? Are these aphids? This might be something other than aphids, but I definitely have aphids as well. Um, so I'm gonna try a new method to get rid of them, but I have to wait until later tonight. So um, I'll show you later tonight what I do there. Not seeing one so far. Let me see. I'm gonna look at a couple more leaves and if I find one, I'll, I'll stop and record. All right, I got the leaves cleaned up and I didn't find any borers, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. It could mean that I don't have any at the moment, which I think is unlikely or it could mean that they are further into the plant than I want them to be already. Um, I did spot some more evidence of damage on the other side, so I'm gonna show you that now. All right, hopefully y'all can see this. Um, so when vine borers bore into the vine, um, they leave behind what looks like orangey kind of like bits. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how else to describe them, um, but it's like essentially the, the bits of the stem that they've digested and left behind. Um, so here it looks like a vine borer might have gotten in. Um, so there's a couple things you can do. You can try to spray uh, BT into the hole and hopefully the boar is close to the hole and it eats some and dies. Um, the other thing that you can do is actually cut open the stem, which is not gonna kill your plant, um, and try to extract the boar. Um, I'm going to try to do that now. I don't know if there's actually a boar in there, but I would rather slice it open and check. Um, so I have an X-Acto knife that I use specifically for this. Um, so I'm just gonna cut right here. Obviously be very careful when you do this. It does look like there might be one in there. Aha, yep. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. Let me try to zoom in. This is why I tend to think maybe I should just not grow squash because these are so freaking annoying. And now I can't find him. Ah, there he is. All right, can you see him wiggling in there? So let me just get him out. He's pretty small. These guys get pretty chunky. But there he is. So that's what they look like. So this is a vine borer. They're super annoying. They will eat the inside of your squash stems and kill the entire plant. And once they're inside there, as you can tell, they're super hard to get out. I got this one, but who knows, there could be 10 more inside the plant already, which is why I just feel like I might not grow squash anymore. These are just so annoying. But yeah, that's another thing you can do to, to get them out of your plant. Yep. 
Yep, that's, yep, that's it. <laughs> okay, so... I mentioned I was trying something new. I bought these ladybugs. <laughs> um, that obviously ladybugs eat aphids um, so I'm going to try releasing these onto my plants um, and see if they will just eat all the bugs I don't know um, so ladybugs are great to have in your garden anyways um, but I'm just gonna give it a shot so you're supposed to release them onto the base of the plants because they like to crawl upwards um, And yeah, you can see them all, see them all in there. Um, but I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle these guys at the base of these plants, and hopefully they'll just have a great, great old time. <laughs> all right, it is the next morning, and look at all these ladybugs. I'm so excited. I didn't know they ate uh, mealybugs also, so that's exciting as well. I have a lot of mealybugs in the garden. Um, they've already started to spread out. We actually had a thunderstorm last night, um, but they seem to be doing all right. I'll, I'll try to find a couple more, but they are all over the garden and already snacking on aphids, so I'm really hopeful. I, I, think, I think this is gonna be good. Hello, hello, it is Thursday evening, and last night we had a big storm come through, which was really nice because we hadn't gotten rain in a while, but it did have some really strong winds and that kind of blew everything around a bit. So I wanted to show you kind of how everything held up. Um, so with the tomatoes over here, I actually really like this trellising method. Um, I did have some branches kind of fall over a bit, but those are the ones that I hadn't gotten around to putting inside the trellis um so i kind of expected that and there weren't too many most of them i think are just kind of flopped over and i can still um put up i don't think many of them snapped so i'm going to get those in the trellis and maybe put a few more strings on it over here the eggplant over here i haven't done a great job of supporting it right now it is only supported by these poles and it's a really big plant so the winds just kind of knocked it over and it didn't really it wasn't able to withstand that kind of um wind so i actually came out in the in the middle of the storm and tied these two poles together and then attached it to this uh frame that's on my raised bed it's attached to the raised bed so that kept it upright for the most part but I do need to come through and I guess probably thin it out a bit or at least reduce some of the weight because it's just not supported well enough at the moment and then these tomatoes back here still doing really good again this same trellising method is used over here and I had the same issue, any any branches that weren't in the trellis, either because they were too short or I hadn't like tucked them in, they had grown outside, um, those kind of flopped over. But for the most part, everything still looks great. Um, everything over here is good. Pumpkins are still doing great. So yeah, overall, pretty good. Um, if I had used my old trellising methods, with the same storm, I think I would have had several plants snap. So I'm going to clean up any branches that did snap. I don't think there are too many. And then add some new strings and get these all supported again. But that's about it. This branch here concerns me though. I can't tell if this damage is from the storm or if it's from a little critter that I cannot find at the moment. That's the one thing about this trellising method because everything is so dense, it's hard to find. Um, in this case, I'm looking for a tomato hornworm. It's what I think might have done that. Um, 
but also this is just kind of sticking out so maybe it maybe it's storm damage I'm gonna see if I can find any and if I do I'll show you but that that is concerning because it does look like something chewed this off so if I can't find one now I'll come out later with a flashlight because they glow in the dark um, but yeah Okay, I found it. <laughs> Let's see. This is my worst nightmare. I hate these guys so much. Let me get it to focus. You see him? He just blends in and he's so large and I hate them and I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I'll be looking for any others while I'm getting these tomatoes back in order, but let me just get this off. Ugh. There he is. Pretty confident he's the one that ate that branch. If you don't find them in time, those tomato hornworms will eat an entire tomato plant and the tomatoes, like all of it. Usually there's not just one. See, none of these actually snap, they're just bent over. And tomato plants are really, really resilient, so I have no doubt these are just fine. I just need to get them supported. I found another one. This is usually where I expect to find them, kind of near the top, near the new growth, because that's usually what they like. Um, but yeah, this is the new string I just added, so that's where he is. And then you can also see what he already ate here. So if you see like just blunt ends on your tomato, anywhere look around that area because you're likely gonna find one also these little black dots are their poop uh, so if you see this this is another sign that you've got one somewhere um, you just need to find it
that's a nice looking eggplant. That's where I'm gonna leave it. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how everything stood up to the storm. So I think I'll definitely try this trellising method again next season. I might just trim some more of the branches, but they're doing great. And you know, I got some tomatoes, got an eggplant. So all good. Guess this is gonna be the bug episode. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.